All right, guys, here we are starting the race at Milwaukee Mile. All right, everybody, about to go green here. Well, going green in the ARCA cars at Milwaukee. 40 laps. We hope to keep it clean. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with this track, and it's really easy to overdrive it. So I looped it in qualifying, but still managed to start sixth. So hopefully we can hold on to the track position we got here, learn the track as we go, and have a good race. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Leave a comment, let me know if you guys would like to see kind of the practice and the qualifying efforts to these races, or if picking up right there the green flag is more entertaining for you guys. I kind of keep you up to speed, um, you know, I'll let you know where I qualified. I'm the 13 car and I qualified 6, so I'm um, just trying to hold on to as much track position as we can and let this race play out. It'll be a pretty long one, um, not really. Oh, come on, dude, just using us up. It'll be a fairly long run and this type of car so we want to make sure we keep care of the tires and things like that so we're not going to be pushing it tremendously and in practice and qualifying actually um, practice not before the race session practice but you know I was practicing and I looped the car on the exit of four so it's going to be really nice and easy off the off the corner here and Try to keep our car in good shape. We have more speed down the 16 car, but it's just kind of a dangerous racer. I don't want to get Alcohol. caught too close near him here. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Outside you right. clear. Hopefully we can catch this next group of cars here. I don't want to let that 16 car to my inside on corner entry, that's for sure. Because he proved that he will just use you up. I can six. Car feels pretty good. I know we don't have race winning speed. I haven't ran a, tr a race at this track ever. Um, I thought I was going to have to buy it. I don't know if it's included in the game or, or I just bought it off a limb one time, but never really ran a race here. So it's a miracle that we're holding on to what we got. in the most hyper competitive split that's for sure but this gives us a good chance to learn and improve as the two car loops it that'll give us a position break us into the top five At least the 16 car was. But as a group, we we're definitely catching these other cars ahead of us, so might lose a couple of positions to these guys, but in the long run, might still gain some positions on some others. So try 
try not to overdrive the corner here as we kind of get another rhythm. I know it sucks losing some positions, but in the grand scheme of things, our I rating is still improving. We have not hit anything. Even though somebody hit us, we have not took any points. So in terms of our long-term goals of improving our rating and keeping a good license and improving our license, we are succeeding here today, so. Gotta be more aggressive with the break here in the entry. There's a lot of time to be, a lot of time to be had there. So let's see what we can do without pushing the car too hard. more break. That's what we're talking about. Ooh, it's so easy to overdrive this. I will not loop this car, I swear. I might not be able to catch these cars, but I'm definitely not wrecking mine. Maybe more off throttle time? I don't know. I really enjoy running the Arca cars on some of like the bigger NASCAR tracks, like the intermediate tracks. Don't really have a lot of speed here on these flatter tracks, like a New Hampshire, Milwaukee. I'm not really, not really the most well versed in this driving style. It's almost like a road course. Such flat corners. Very aero dependent in my racing, whether it be sprint cars with a big wing on them or tracks where aerodynamics and using the draft and stuff pays off. an ARCA race, it's been a fairly uneventful race. Usually you see something crazy, something funny, something unique. I know we're not even halfway yet. And I think these tires are about to get pretty slippy for some of us. Especially those that are racing really, really hard. I mean, we might honestly have a car to where it'll come alive towards the second half of this race because we're under driving it. I mean, I'm not pushing this car whatsoever. I mean, my corners have been nothing, nothing impressive at all. So, it might be somewhere we might have a little bit of juice for them here at the end.
Slow car down low, car stop down low, go high. See if that was for position, I'm not sure. I was kind of spacing out honestly here guys, I'm sorry. This track is just demanding a lot of focus from me. The way these corners are. I hope if anything, I know we haven't taken away a ton of entertainment value from this track, but I hope if anything, if you use this video, you know you want to learn or it's a reference to what a full race on this track looks like. Um, I like to have the race labs up for you guys. You can kind of see what my feet are doing. I don't know if the foot cam is something that is appealing, but I definitely want to get a webcam set up good going. Um, I need to work on my backdrop. I have a couple of nice pieces of race car sheet metal and things like that that I think if I kind of reorganize my setup a little bit, I can have a really nice backdrop. Maybe get the wheel in frame so you can see the hand movement. And I think that would add to the videos a little bit. And then, you know, that'd be perfect. We could pull up a live stream. A little bit more live form content, or long form content, I mean. Quick time Tyler on camera. Who knows? I do want to do some race day vlogs. I'll be going to a lot of World of Outlaws shows, um, a couple different race tracks in Iowa that I want to hit up. And definitely the Knoxville Nationals, maybe the Front Row Challenge in Oski. So there might be a potential for some vlogs, depending on if you guys want it and if, that, if the channel gets to that. I don't want to do the vlogs to try to grow this channel as a vlog channel. I want to do those vlogs to entertain you guys and give you a little, you know, give the behind the scenes, not even behind the scenes, but at the racetrack experience, you know. I would love to go experience some of the tracks that you guys might live by, you know, Pennsylvania, on the West Coast. Um, there's tracks everywhere, you know. So to kind of share my experience, something I take for granted with somebody that might be very, very interested in it. So that's kind of the thought behind the iRacing stuff too. I mean, this stuff, I'm very fortunate to have the equipment and things that I do to be able to do this. Watching my, keep my eyes on the 17 car. Yeah, I mean all the equipment that it takes to run these cars and do what I do. I mean I can't help be, can't help but be thankful for it, and want to share it. You know guys are interested in doing what I do I mean it's a lot of fun it does take a lot of work uh, I mean it, it's all self-imposed work though I mean the paint schemes and the practice I mean it's all what you held yourself accountable to and if you just want to have fun and race against people with an equal skill level I mean you can do that too it's always going to have that competitive aspect to it but you can you can do it casually I just love how it meshes everything between, you know, creativity with the paint schemes and the branding and things like that, and then the racing, the competitiveness. Kind of puts two worlds together, and I like it a lot. Still hold on to our seventh place position as we do have a little bit of pressure by one car behind us over halfway here 26 laps 27 laps down so about 10 laps to go guaranteed no cautions gaining a little bit on the sixth place car i know they were about three seconds ahead of us when i was last paying attention so i mean we are i don't know that we're actively closing the gap but the gap has gotten smaller I might just let this car by though. Poor car behind us. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. There's a grave digger car for a second. Almost hit the wall there, but let's see if we can't learn something from him. 
See if we can't take his line a little bit. Ooh, my. Definitely don't want to overdrive the corner. That's for darn sure. But we'll settle back into eighth place here and see if we can't just close out the lap or close out the final laps of this race and get a good finish. Um, the car is not going to drive well. <laughs> well. It's 30 laps into a run here. We're definitely just going to have to manage with what we got, hold on to the positions we can, and sneak away with a top 10 here, hopefully. We can get around the slap car pretty quick, pretty easy, painless. Car outside, keep low, clear up top. Maybe, just maybe we'll be able to sneak past this car that's ahead of us. He's been dropping like a fly and we were about to pass him ourselves until we got into that with the four car and I kind of let him by, he raced him easy. so. Maybe, just maybe we can get 7th back, get a little bit more of an I rating gain. speed by overdriving entry. I think if we back up our entry a little bit, hit the brakes a little harder, and then roll through, where we have a lot better of a corner, it just takes awareness and um, concentration and focus to get that done each and every lap. Back in seventh with five laps to see if we can't get anything else out of this race. Overdrive in the corner, that's what gets us every single time. Five laps to go. One and a half seconds is the gap to the cars ahead of us. As this race winds down, I'm not sure that we'll have what it takes to get this last position. 
but I hope everybody's having a good day, good week so far. I know we missed a couple uploads and we doubled up on the weekend. The Rapid Fire released a lot of different videos, so go back, check those ones out if you haven't yet. Um, some pretty good entertaining races there, but we are back on the daily grind. Um, so we're going to put this one out Tuesday, Tuesday night, so I hope everyone's having a good night. We're going to upload this. I'm recording it right now, Tuesday night, so as soon as we can, we're going to get this one uploaded. And then it's on to the next race for Monday morning, and from there, every day, at um, 8 a.m., we're going to be have videos pop up. So subscribe if you haven't yet. If you like this type of content, leave a like. Let me know um, if there's any tracks or cars you want me to run in the future. laps to go and you can tell our focus is to a minimum here um, we got one and a half second gap turned to three and a half second gap as long as we don't lose any positions here I'm gonna focus up for this very last lap and try not to lose this seventh place position we have Had to get the outro for you guys, uh, but yeah, let me let me know if you guys want to see more of like the practice and qualifying. Like I said in the beginning, I don't know if starting it right on the green flag is more entertaining or giving you guys that build up, letting you guys see what the process of getting these races going is like. Yeah, let me know. We were able to hold on to it, bring it home seventh. Uh, started seventh sixth maybe i'm not sure i don't quite remember um, but we were the 13 cars so definitely a good race zero incidents in an arca car in an arca race that's amazing we'll take it so um we'll continue the grind if you guys continue to tune in and watch i appreciate you guys each and every one thanks for being here peace